there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things. I post on Thursdays and alternate Tuesdays. So please, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And today we are getting into Season of the Ruha by Aaron Duran and Sarah Solar. Now this book is absolutely beautiful, thoroughly engrossing. I just finished it about 20 minutes ago and let's get into it so this book deals with as as mexican american particularly aztec american culture and the magic sources um it the way it outlines the magic system it's very beautiful and damning like sell your soul to gain these powers, like make deals with the underworld kind of thing. Um, it also takes a very realistic look at history. I want to get to page 58 here, which is kind of in the middle. We have our two bad guys talking, and one of them says to the other, history tells the story of our conquest, how we so efficiently and ruthlessly crushed their cities and their people, but even when history is written by the victors, some liberties must be taken. It is true we had advanced weapons of war and blessings of his holiness on our side, but they were far from helpless. But our ships, the horses, they quaked at such marvels. <laughs> marvels? They were but quake, there was no quaking. They built cities upon lakes. Why would they marvel at just a big boat? Like, I love it. It's like, when we learned about the conquistadores when I was in middle school and high school, I thought they were the bad guys. Like they were presented in the history books, maybe not by my history teachers, but in the history books as the conquering heroes. They brought civilization to the savages. And I'm like, but they, they brought it through violence and savage means. They, they slaughtered people. They did unspeakable acts to people. Are, are they any better? <laughs> um, so I, I like that this book takes that approach to it, takes that approach to history, more of a realist approach to history, instead of a glossy, to the victor goes the spoils, they get to tell the tales, hooray, kind of a take. So it's really cool. Like I said, it's beautifully illustrated. Like the art style is gorgeous. Like I love the art style. Um, that's actually what drew me to the book, was the art style. And then I saw the title and I'm like, ooh, I could listen to Donovan while I read this. If you don't know, Donovan is a folk singer. He did the original version of Season of the Witch. Great song. Highly recommend it. Um, kind of put me in the mood when I started reading. But pretty soon I was so engr engrossed in the book that I stopped listening. And my little speaker, I'm not going to say his name because it'll hear me and try to talk to me um was playing to someone who wasn't listening very quickly because i was so engrossed in the book um i read it in under an hour and it's a graphic novel it's not a very thick one the only crime this book commits is being short let me say that again this is the first book in a series i wish they had taken the first couple books and brought them together into one book and released a thicker edition that was multiple, like an omnibus. I wish they had done an omnibus first instead of doing these little episodic books. Um, will I be reading the next one? 100% yes. Will I be pre-ordering it as soon as I find out what it is? 100% yes. Do I give this book five stars? Should you read it? Yes. Yes. Please do. Yeah, it's got themes of family and tradition, death and loss, which are very universal themes. Um, it was very easy for me to identify with the characters and get into the story. Uh, it's extremely well written. It's beautifully illustrated. Yes, you should read this. Um, have you read Season of the, of the Bruja? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.